Hi, my name is Keith Townsend. I write the blog www.virtualizedgeek.com. Uh, this is an introduction to cloud computing. We'll go over a uh, high level introduction of cloud computing. A lot of people wonder what's the difference between virtualized environment and cloud computing. We hope to address that in this short introduction to cloud computing. About me, I'm a IT solutions architect working for a large federal contractor. Uh, I have over 16 years of uh, IT experience. You can find out more about me uh, via my LinkedIn program. So definition of cloud computing. Uh, this is the NIST provided definition of cloud computing. Cloud computing is a model for enabling convenient on-demand network access to a shared pool of configurable computing resources that can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management effort or service provider interaction. This cloud model promotes availability and is composed of five essential characteristics, three service models and four deployment models. That's a really long definition and we're going to spend the remainder of this class breaking down that definition to get a better understanding of what cloud computing actually is. So let's start first about talking about the characteristics of cloud computing. On-demand self-service, broad network access, resource pooling, rapid elasticity, measured service. This is actually a pretty critical slide in breaking down the differences between a virtualized environment and a cloud computing environment. Uh, there's really nothing special if you're working if you work in IT services there's really nothing special about the components of cloud computing especially if you worked in a virtualized environment you're very much used to broad network access uh, that being internet access uh, VPN T1 MPLS wireless WiMAX whatever the medium for transferring data, resource pooling. Again, if you work in a virtualized environment, there's really nothing special, no secret sauce in resource pooling. You have a bunch of hardware. You want to use that hardware. You want to pool that hardware together as one large resource and divvy it out. Rapid elasticity. Uh, again, uh, you can uh, ramp up in virtual resources as quickly as possible uh, up to whatever limited uh, resources you may have for your physical infrastructure. The two big components that we want to talk about and focus on are the when we perform a gap analysis are the two major areas that most organizations fall short in. That's the on-demand self-service. So the ability of an end user to go in and self-provision services themselves. So to go to a web portal, go to let's say amazon.com and provision a virtual machine in disk resources without the interaction of the without the physical interaction of the administration staff at Amazon. And then that service will be measured. The ability to measure how many of the resources you're using or how much of the resource you're using, whether it's disk, CPU, memory, network bandwidth, how much resource are you using and can you pay basically pay by the drink for those resources. That's the big difference between a virtualized environment and a cloud environment. The That the environment is on demand and self-service. The end user can service the, the their own uh, resource needs or request for resources. And the service is measured, meaning that Whatever I'm selling, whether it's email addresses or email accounts, uh, office products, or infrastructure as a service, i.e. virtual machines, I can measure that service and charge for that measured service. So the service models, the three different service models. I alluded to one, which is infrastructure as a service. Uh, two other services are software as a service, which is a good example. A lot of great examples of software as a service are Google, 
apps, Google email, uh, Gmail, uh, Windows Live services such as Office 365, Salesforce.com for CRM. Uh, infrastructure as a service is something that we're all very familiar with, or most of us are very familiar with, such as Rackspace's uh, cloud offering, Amazon's AWS, Lockheed Martin offers a service called Solus for federal customers. Uh, you're basically buying virtual machines and renting out that virtual machine space. Platform as a service is an interesting concept. There's an awful lot of uh, interest in platform as a service. Salesforce.com actually has a great platform as a service offering that allows you to build applications on their platform. So you can think of it, I got asked the other day if I, if I thought Android was a platform as a service. Android is a platform, but it's not a platform as a service. The platform as a service is where a service provider is controlling the back end infrastructure and giving you APIs into their infrastructure to create applications. Amazon can be considered sometimes as a platform as a service where you get the API. You may not actually have an actual VM, but you get APIs into their uh, into their infrastructure to build an application without actually knowing what virtual machine or if uh, specifying virtual machine in, uh, instances. So the deployment models, there's four different deployment models, private cloud, which is a cloud dedicated to a single organization. There's a lot of considerations of why you would want to go a private cloud, mainly, mainly which those considerations will probably surround security. A community cloud is, commu is a cloud that's geared to a particular market or set of uh, customers that have similar interests, such as uh, Google's GovCloud or Gmail and Microsoft actually offer government only solutions. A public cloud is something that we're all very familiar with, a cloud offering that's available to anyone basically that has a credit card. And then a hybrid cloud takes any one of those, any two of these cloud models and combines them to offer a solution. So you might have a need for a private cloud internally, and then uh, as your needs expand during a high demand period, you might wanna burst out to a public cloud temporarily. So that would be considered a hybrid cloud. So that's the basic definition of cloud computing, a difference between cloud computing and a virtualized environment. I actually provided a towards uh, some references that you can get some additional information. The NIST definition that we just talked about gives a lot more uh, detail and a couple of examples of uh, platform as a service as well as uh, some uh, uh, tutorial on Amazon's cloud offering. Uh, if you wanna find out more about virtualization or cloud computing, I encourage you to visit my site, www.virtualizedgeek.com. Thanks a lot.